Google just recently announced the biggest update they've ever had to their smartwatch operating system, aptly named Android Wear 2.0. Now, in addition to announcing it and talking about all the new features and how it makes it more of a standalone device and blah, 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 they also released a couple of developer versions of the firmware for specific watches. So I happen to be fortunate enough to have one of those watches. And if you are one of the people that have one of the watches that are supported, that means that we can flash the developer version and try out Android Wear 2.0 for ourselves right now. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do just that. So first thing we do is set up ADB on the watch. So if we pull down and then go over to settings, scroll all the way down to about, find build number and keep tapping that till it tells you you are a developer then swipe right to get out and click on developer options. In here, we're gonna to go to ADB debugging and make sure that that says enabled. Then we need to set up ADB on our computer. Uh, click the link below to be taken to my video on how to do that. It's really quick, um, but you'll be walked through this tutorial. And when you're done, you should be able to see the serial number of the device. Once you do that, and it's basically just installing a program, it takes 15 seconds just about, uh, we're going to then plug in the watch's USB cable into our computer that we're using and set the watch down on it. With it plugged in, we're going to go to the C drive and then ADB, which is a folder that should have appeared after doing my tutorial on how to set up ADB. And we're gonna hold down shift and right click any blank area in here and then open command window here, and we're gonna type ADB devices. Now the first time you type this and hit enter, it's going to say, uh, it'll show the serial number and it'll say unauthorized. When that happens, you're gonna to go to the watch. You'll see this allow debugging on here. We're going to say, always allow from this computer. And then you're gonna type ADB devices in again and hit enter, and this time it should show you the serial number and the word device, meaning that it can see it and ADB is working. Okay, then we need to download Android Wear 2.0, the developer preview. At the moment of writing this, there's only two watches that it works for, which is the LG Watch Urbane Second Edition and the Huawei Watch, which is what I have. Uh, you can also click here to get to Google's own site uh, to see what other devices they may have added in the meantime. Otherwise, though, if you have one of these two watches, you can click on one of my mirrors here to download it, which is available beneath this video at the link below. Or again, you can head to Google's site to download it from them. I'm gonna click on the Huawei watch though here and download that and save that to my desktop. Once that's downloaded, we're gonna right click it and hit extract all, just hit extract. Then on the computer in another Explorer window, we're going to go back to C and ADB. And in the same folder that has ADB.exe and Fastboot, we're going to just take all of these files and drag them into there. Then we're gonna hold shift again and right click in a blank area in this folder and say open command window here. We're gonna type ADB devices. And again, we should see our serial number. Then we're gonna type ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. And the watch should reboot and look like this. And on the computer, we're gonna type fast boot OEM unlock and hit enter. Now, if when you do that, it just sits there and says waiting for device and the watch isn't doing anything, it means that the fast boot drivers didn't work. So we're gonna open up device manager by typing in here device manager, clicking on that. And you'll see that there is an Android device in here with an exclamation point. We're gonna right click that, hit update driver software, browse my computer, let me pick from a list, select Android device, hit next, hit next again, hit yes. We're gonna hold shift, right click back in here, open command window here again, fast boot devices. Hit enter, now we should see the serial number and the word fast boot. That's how we know that it is connected and able to be seen. And now we can type fast boot OEM unlock again and hit enter. 
This time it will say unlock the bootloader and we are going to long press on, well, you can short press to select different options, but obviously we want yes, so we're gonna long press on that. And eventually it will reboot. Once it does, go through the setup process again, and then finally goes through the setup process. We're going to re-enable USB debugging by going to settings, scrolling all the way down to about, tapping on build number until it tells you you are a developer. Going to developer options, turning on ADB debugging, and then connecting it back to our USB cable. Then on the computer, we're going to hold shift and right click in here again, hit open command window here, type in ADB devices and hit enter. Again, it'll ask if you want to allow debugging, we're gonna to scroll to always allow, hit that. Then we can type ADB devices again and hit enter. And this time it'll say device. Then we can type ADB reboot bootloader, hit enter. Wait for it to boot into fast boot mode. And then in the folder with ADB and all of our other files, we're going to double click flash all dot bat and wait for it to flash. Eventually the device will reboot and in command prompt, it'll say press any key to exit, which you can hit enter to do. After that, you'll have the new version of Android Wear. There you guys, enjoy messing around with Android Wear 2.0 and please let me know in the comments what you guys think of it. Uh, and also if you wanna flash back, you could just follow this tutorial again, but flash the stock firmware instead of the developer preview. Now, if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it, it is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, Thanks for watching.